From decades of working as both a pilot and an airline executive, I can tell you that the supply of pilots ebbs and flows over the years. But it is critical for an operator to be able to consistently source the pilots needed for day-to-day -day operations. According to federal regulations, a pilot flying under a Part 135 air taxi operation must have at least 500 hours of flight time and have training specific to the exact aircraft they will be flying by an approved training program. This means that at a minimum, we must create and receive FAA approval for a training course to fly the Joby aircraft. So let's talk about the development of that training. This course includes training materials and manuals to familiarize pilots with the equipment and operations of the aircraft. The use of flight simulators that are separately qualified under Part 60 to ensure they provide an experience that is fully representative of piloting the real aircraft. Solo flights in the aircraft itself and a series of competency checks that test trainee pilots on their knowledge and piloting skills specific to the Joby aircraft. And then a final check ride in the simulator followed by initial operating experience in market prior to carrying passengers. We've been working for several years now on the structure of the course with over 100 lesson modules in development and testing. At Joby, this aircraft-specific training program will be operated within a Part 142 training program, which allows us to train pilots whether they'll be flying directly for Joby or for another operator who has purchased the aircraft. Our relationship with the Department of Defense has been a huge help with the development of our training, as we've been able to go through the course with numerous DOD pilots to get feedback on the clarity, quality, and flow of materials. Last year, we had four DOD pilots fly the Joby aircraft remotely after completing an initial version of our training course. In total, 10 pilots have now flown the Joby aircraft through full transition. We've also completed more than 100 flights with a pilot on board the aircraft. And with our final FAA-approved course, we expect to be able to train commercial airplane pilots to fly the Joby aircraft within roughly six weeks. This is very similar in content and duration to the type of training an airline pilot receives when they learn a new aircraft. And it's the sort of program I've experienced many times in my career. Now the real long lead item here though is the flight simulator. Anyone developing a single pilot air taxi will need to use high fidelity immersive flight simulators before pilots can fly the real aircraft in commercial air taxi operations. The regulations allow for training in a level C full flight simulator. These are extremely high tech, full motion, six axis devices that replicate the aerodynamics, systems, controls, and motion of the aircraft. They also give pilots a full field view that very accurately replicates the real environment in real time. This allows for operation of the simulated aircraft in a full range of realistic scenarios through the entirety of its flight envelope, providing a training experience that's as close to flying the real aircraft as you can get without actually being in one. These simulators must be qualified by the FAA according to requirements laid out in Part 60. And to be clear, the development and approval is a multi-year process. We expect to perform hundreds of tests comparing simulator data to real aircraft data to ensure the simulators will meet FAA requirements and actually simulate our aircraft. In March of 2022, we announced a partnership with CAE to develop these simulators, and we've had steady engagement with the FAA on the qualification plan, leaving us on track to qualify the Level C simulator prior to commercial operations in the U.S. For our initial commercial operations in Dubai, we'll use a fixed base version referred to as a level seven simulator, which will be delivered by CAE next year. This training course and the simulators to go along with it are table stakes required for us and anybody else to train qualified commercial pilots to fly an eVTOL aircraft. But where are we gonna get the pilots? We expect our initial several years of operation will be staffed by pilots with experience in airline or military flying who've decided that they want to live and work in the same region and be home every night. However, we know that to scale, we will need to develop our own pilot training pipeline. There are two types of training programs for new pilots, Part 61 and Part 141. 
Part 61 is unstructured, not reviewed or approved by the FAA, and is less efficient than the more rigorous FAA-approved Part 141 programs. Like other training programs we've described, there is a long lead time in building out FAA-approved pilot training programs, and we're well on our way towards initial certification of a Part 141 pilot academy. While this may not be an absolute requirement to launch operations, we're very proud of our work in this area and we believe it will be very important to scaling our future operations and broadening access to becoming a pilot.